Good morning and a very warm welcome to you all for the class today. And as you know that today we'll be doing the second part of the lesson footprints without feet of your supplementary reader. So let's not waste the time and let's start with the second part of the lesson. Till now we've got to know that Griffin the scientist who's a very lawless person been doing all the mischievous things. So this time in the village of Iping when he was running a shortage of money what did he do? He did again the same thing he dropped and this time he robbed the clergyman of the village IP. Now the clergyman and his wife, they heard noises in their study. They heard the chink of money. They opened the door. They found nobody there. Lekin, paise sare bahan se gaya. And this was very uh, inquisitive and curious uh, for them. The whole day the clergyman kept thinking ki ye hua kaise. How is it possible? Because when they both went down the study, they found nobody. The door of the desk was open and the money was completely missing. Extraordinary affair. The clergyman kept saying for the rest of the day. But it was not as extraordinary as the behavior of Mrs. Hall's furniture a little later that morning. The landlord and his wife were up very early and were surprised to see the scientist's door wide open. Usually it was shut and locked and he was furious if anyone entered his room. The opportunity seemed too good to be missed. They both peeped round the door, saw nobody and decided to investigate. The bedclothes were cold, showing that the scientist must have been up for some time. And stranger still, the clothes and bandages that he always wore were lying about the room. All of a sudden, Mrs. Hall heard a sniff close to her ear. A moment later, the hat on the bedpost leapt up and dashed itself onto her face. Then the bedroom chair became alive. Springing into the air, it charged straight at her legs foremost. As she and her husband turned away in terror, extraordinary chair pushed them both out of the room and then appeared to slam and lock the door after them. Now something extraordinary happened with Mrs. Hall and her husband also. The things that happened with Mrs. Hall's furniture were much more fascinating. So what happened here is that both Mrs. Hall and her husband, they both were surprised to see the door open of the guest room. And his room uh, actually remained closed. So both of them decided to look inside as there was nobody in the room. So what did they see that the bed clothes were all cold, uh, that the scientist was not there, the clothes and the bandages, they were all lying about here and there in the room. But suddenly what happened, Mrs. Hall heard a sniff close to her ear. And Griffin's hat that was lying on the bed post flung towards her and hit her. Then the chair in the room dashed itself. It rose up in the air. It pushed both Mrs. Hall and her husband out of the room. This terrorized Mrs. Hall and she was about to fall. So children, you can uh, have two questions out of these two episodes. First could be like this, that or what was the curious episode that took place in the clergyman's study? I hope you all know what happened. The clergyman and his wife. Uh, they both heard the noises in their study. They heard the chink of the money. They opened the door and they found nobody there, but the money was missing. So this was something curious that happened with the clergyman. And uh, we can uh, also get a question from uh, Mrs. Hall's episode. That uh, a question could be asked that what three extraordinary things happened in the room uh, where the scientist was staying. And what were those? So you could easily say the whole episode that how Mrs. Hall she heard a sniff of uh, sniff close to her uh, ears कि कैसे उन्हें लगा कि उनके कानों के पास ऐसे लगा जैसे कोई सूंघ रहा है एंड किस तरह से हैट जो है वो जोर से उछली और उनको हिट किया चेयर ने किस तरह से बिहेव किया कभी ऊपर उछल रही है कभी उनको हिट कर रही है दीज आर द थिंग्स विच यू हैव टू राइट इन योर आंसर मिसिज हॉल ऑलमोस्ट फेल डाउन द स्टेयर इन हिस्टर She was convinced that the room was haunted by spirits and that the stranger had somehow caused these to enter into her furniture. 
my poor mother used to sit in that chair she moaned to think it should rise up against me ma she moaned that her mother used to sit in the chair which hit her legs and thought how could it uh, rise up against her to hit the neighbors of uh, mrs uh, uh, hall they were also completely shocked and thought that the trouble was caused by the witchcraft but witchcraft or not when news of the burglary at the clergyman's home became known the strange scientist was strongly suspected of having had a hand in it suspicion grew even stronger when he suddenly produced some ready cash though he had admitted that uh, he no longer had money bhoot preet hai ya jadu hai ye to koi nahi janta lekin ha sabka shak tab pakka hone shuru ho gaya mr griffin ki taraf jab पूरे गांव में ये खबर फैली कि क्लर्जुमैन के घर चोरी हुई है और उस चोरी के बाद ही मिस्टर ग्रफिन में जो है वो कैश जो है वो रेडी कैश रखा बिकॉज पहले वो कह रहे थे दैट ही वॉज नॉट हैविंग कैश बिकॉज ही इज एक्सपेक्टिंग अ चेक टू कम बट नाउ सडनली ही प्रोड्यूस सम कैश सो एवरीबडी सस्पेक्टेड मिस्टर ग्रफिन द विलेज कांस्टेबल वॉज सीक्रेटली सेंट फॉर Instead of waiting for the constable, Mrs. Hall went to the scientist who had somehow mysteriously appeared from his empty bedroom. "I want to know what you have been doing in to my chairs upstairs," she demanded. "And I want to know how it is you came out of an empty room and how you entered a locked room." Village constable ke aane se pehle hi Mrs. Hall ne khud inquiry shuru kar di. और मिस्टर ग्रिफिन से पूछना शुरू कर दिया कि अचानक आप एक खाली कमरे से कैसे बाहर आए क्या कर रहे थे आप मेरी चेयर्स के साथ शी ऑल्सो आस्ट हिम दैट हाउ डिड ही कम आउट ऑफ द एंटी रूम द साइंट इज वॉज ऑलवेज क्विक टेम्पल नाउ ही बिकेम फ्यूज यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हु और वर आई एम ही शाउट इट वेरी वेल आई शो यू Suddenly he threw off bandages, whiskers, spectacles, and even noos. It took him only a minute to do this. The horrified people in the bar found themselves staring at a headless man. Mr. Jaffers, the constable, now arrived and was quite surprised to find that he had to arrest a man without a head. But Jaffers was not easily prevented from doing his duty. If a magistrate's warrant ordered a person's arrest then that person had to be arrested with or without his head There followed a remarkable scene as the policemen tried to get hold of the man who was becoming more and more invisible as he threw off one garment after another Finally a shirt flew into the air and the constable found himself struggling with someone he could not see at all Some people tried to help him but found themselves hit by blows that seemed to come from nowhere In the end Jaffers was knocked unconscious as he made a last attempt to hold on to the unseen scientist There were nervous excited cries of hold him but this was easier said than done Griffin had shaken himself free and no one knew where to lay hands on him Mrs Hall ke inquire karne ki hi der thi do char sawal unhone kiye aur Mr Scientist to pehle hi short tempered the quick tempered the aa gaya unhe gussa and he started shouting don't you understand who or what i am and he just completely started you know throwing off all the बैंडेजेस बिस्कस प्रैक्टिकल सब निकाल के उन्होंने फेंकना शुरू कर दिया और एक मिनट से भी कम समय में उन्होंने सब कुछ निकाल दिया और सारे लोग वहाँ पर अचानक ये देख के दे बिकेम हॉरिफाइड कि जैसे जैसे वो चीज़ें निकालते जा रहे हैं वो इनविजिबल होते जा रहे हैं इनविजिबल होते ही जा रहे हैं और फाइनली क्या बन गए एक हेडलेस मैन बन गए तब तक मिस्टर जाफर्स जो कांस्टेबल है ही वॉज सरप्राइज टू सी के अरे ही हैड टू अरेस्ट अ मैन बिना सिर के आदमी को उन्हें पकड़ना पड़ेगा लेकिन मिस्टर मैजिस्ट्रेट के ऑर्डर हैं तो फिर चाहे उस आदमी का सर हो या ना हो ही हैड टू अरेस्ट हिम लेकिन फाइनली होता क्या है ही कुड नॉट बार बार जो है वो उनको पकड़ने की कोशिश करते हैं एंड साइंटिस्ट जो है वो उनकी जम के पिटाई करते हैं लेकिन होता क्या है जैसे ही वो फाइनल एक अपनी शर्ट उतार लेते हैं उसके बाद ही बिकम कम्प्लीटली इनविजिबल एंड फाइनली ही वॉज नॉट टू बी सीन 
as he removed his shirt. He was nowhere to be seen. और बेचारे कॉन्स्टेबल जो हैं ही वॉज स्ट्रगलिंग टू अरेस्ट अ मैन हु हैड बिकम कम्प्लीटली इनविजिबल पीपल वर ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू हेल्प द कॉन्स्टेबल लेकिन उनके साथ भी क्या रहा उन्हें पता ही नहीं चल रहा है कभी यहाँ से उनको जो है पंचेस लग रहे हैं कभी वहाँ से पंचेस लग रहे हैं पर दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है कि हो क्या रहा है एज जैफर्ज मेड हिज लास्ट अटैम्प टू कैच होल्ड ऑफ द इनविजिबल मैन ही वॉज नॉट अनकॉन्शियस बेचारे बेहोश ही हो गए और फिर क्या था एवरीबडी वॉज शाउटिंग होल्ड हेम होल्ड हेम लेकिन ये कहना तो आसान था लेकिन एक इनविजिबल मैन को पकड़ना नामुमकिन ही था तो फाइनली मिस्टर ग्रिफिन ने अपने आप को फ्री कर लिया एंड नो बडी कुड अंडरस्टैंड समझ ही नहीं आया किसी को कि किसको पकड़ें और कहाँ पकड़ें सो वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट मिस्टर ग्रिफिन दो ही वॉज अ ब्रिलियंट साइंटिस्ट बट ही वॉज अ कम्प्लीटली लॉलेस पर्सन first he set fire to his landlord's house then did lot of mess in the shopping mall then in the theatrical company then in the village of iping with the clergyman with mrs hall uh, badly behaved with the constable and finally he you know uh, set himself free from there also so that all shows that he was completely a lawless person so this is all for today from this lesson and yes i have discussed uh, some of the questions uh, in the worksheets also uh, in part 1 also and uh, you want to have uh, one in part 2 also so i'm pretty much sure that you are competent enough to do any question that comes out of this lesson but yes something which i want you to learn out of this lesson is that uh, you don't have to be a lawless person in your life हाँ शरारतें ठीक ही लगती हैं लेकिन ऐसा भी नहीं होनी चाहिए जिससे किसी का नुकसान हो यू डोंट हैव टू बी लाइक यू नो मिस्टर ग्रिफेन एट ऑल और वैसे भी सेकेंड लेसन में मिस्टर नेल्सन मंडेला ने आपसे क्या कहा था दैट एजुकेशन इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल वेपन दैट कैन ब्रिंग द चेंजेस इन द वर्ल्ड सो आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू ब्रिंग पॉजिटिव चेंजेस इन द वर्ल्ड थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच Stay home, stay safe and stay connected. Bye.